<laughs> What's going on, Nabooers? It is minus 23 degrees outside, and <laughs> I'm, I just finished eating dinner, and I thought, you know what? I'm not going to be sitting outside of the hot tub or doing anything like that. That's crazy. So why don't we play with a little bit of our game? Game Man, yeah. So Game Man, yeah, now has sprites, and Game Man, yeah, has some physics. I'm using the main emulator right now just because it's a little easier and quicker so i removed the pellets and stuff right now because this is just the uh the physics experiment so as you can see we got little moving asteroids and we have inertia on our ufo <laughs> whoa it's hard to control there we go and we can ram into things <laughs> right now because that's all we we can't die yet but it's kind of fun to, to play around <laughs> so i'm enjoying um playing with the physics engine anyway that i created which is kind of funny because i think i've been enjoying watching just the physics of the ufo flopping around on the screen <laughs> more than I have um, getting, I guess, motivation to finish it. <laughs> this is kind of fun watching it all happen. Isn't that neat? So I've also drawn a few sprites as well um, that aren't being, being displayed here. I have a sprite for when the UFO hits one of the asteroids and it, and it dies, you'll turn into a little floating astronaut. And then that's the astronaut you'll pick up to, uh, to get your free man. And on top of the, I guess the changes to the gameplay as well, um, what, I, what I'm gonna be doing a little bit different is rather than using the rockets, we'll be using these UFOs. So that way I don't have to constantly have a moving sprite based upon the direction. I found that unless I was gonna have like a whole bunch of sprites or programmatically um, rotate the sprite, then it looked kind of silly. So I think the UFO is a little bit more, a little more fitting for, uh, for this type of game. And what I'll be doing on top of, or I guess beneath what you see here. So these are the sprites and there'll be four of these UFOs. Um, I just commented out the code for, for the other three right now while I test. But the pellets and some stars will be in the background. So I'm gonna add that next. And then what I'll do is I'll just keep track of each pellet. And when your UFO hits the pellet, then that will become um, I guess we'll just get rid of it. I was going to make it before like a bomb. I still might. I'm not sure yet because these uh, moving asteroids are already pretty fun. They c you can configure the speed. Right now they're just a, a, a variable that I have just hard coded. But when I put it into the menu, we can configure the speed. And then as the game goes on, maybe we can make these asteroids start moving a little faster as well. So yeah, <laughs> that's that's. Uh, that's Game Man Yeah, as it is right now. Thanks for everybody's suggestions on what the game should be called on YouTube in the comments. That was great. Anybody else wants to uh, throw in their comment in the hat? Their entry in the hat, I guess, as you would say? Go right ahead in the comments. So as we get closer to finalizing the game, I guess we'll have better ideas of what we should call it. <laughs> I don't know, this video is just becoming extra long of me just driving a UFO around and smashing into things. Ooh, I went through that one. That was neat. Wonder how that happened.
<laughs> okay, okay, I'm done, for real. Okay, I'll see you in the next video, guys. Bye-bye.